As the great Buddha once wisely said, the mind is everything, what you think you become. Imagine harnessing the incredible power of your mind to rise above the chaos and negativity that life throws your way. What if I told you that true peace and resilience are not just aspirations, but achievable states of being? Today we're unveiling 10 transformative Buddhist principles that will empower you to cultivate an unshakable inner sanctuary, ensuring that nothing can truly affect you. Principle 1. Forge a firm purpose. Having a clear purpose acts like your guiding star, providing direction and meaning in life. It keeps you focused and driven, making external distractions seem insignificant. When you know why you're here, challenges become stepping stones rather than obstacles. Reflecting on your purpose transforms your approach to life. Ask yourself, what is my purpose? What drives me? Finding your purpose may take time and exploration. Try engaging in new experiences or volunteering in areas that resonate with you. Once you identify your purpose, keep it at the forefront of your mind. Write it down or create reminders to stay connected to it. This practice strengthens your resolve and helps you remain focused, turning challenges into valuable lessons. Forging a firm purpose lays the foundation for resilience and personal growth, guiding you through life's complexities. Principle 2. View everyone as a teacher or a test. Every person you encounter has something to teach you, whether they inspire you or challenge you. By adopting this mindset, you can transform interactions into valuable learning experiences. Instead of viewing difficult people as obstacles, see them as teachers who reveal your strengths and weaknesses. This perspective encourages personal growth and resilience. When someone provokes a negative reaction, ask yourself what you can learn from the situation. Are they triggering a fear or insecurity? Recognizing this helps you develop emotional intelligence and self-awareness. Treating life as a series of tests allows you to approach challenges with curiosity rather than fear. Each interaction becomes an opportunity for reflection and growth, ultimately leading you to a deeper understanding of yourself and others. Viewing everyone as a teacher or a test enriches your journey, fostering compassion, patience, and personal evolution. Principle 3. Erase your desire to be liked. Erasing your desire to be liked frees you from the burden of seeking validation from others. When you stop trying to please everyone, you can live authentically and align with your true self. This shift in mindset empowers you to express your thoughts and feelings without fear of judgment. By focusing on your values and beliefs, you cultivate self-acceptance and confidence. Recognize that not everyone will resonate with you, and that's okay. Instead of worrying about fitting in, embrace your uniqueness and honor your journey. This principle encourages you to build genuine connections based on authenticity rather than superficial approval. When you prioritize being true to yourself, you attract relationships that are more meaningful and fulfilling. Erasing the desire to be liked allows you to live freely and authentically, fostering deeper connections and personal growth. Principle 4. Insult and Offense Understanding that insults and offenses often reflect the insulter's issues can significantly change your perspective. When someone insults you, Remember that their words stem from their own insecurities or struggles. By recognizing this, you can detach emotionally from their negativity. Instead of taking offense, approach the situation with empathy and curiosity. Ask yourself why their words affected you. This reflection helps you identify personal triggers and encourages emotional growth. Practicing this principle fosters resilience and inner peace allowing you to respond to negativity with calmness rather than defensiveness. By letting go of the need for external validation, you create a buffer against the hurtful words of others. Viewing insults as reflections of others' struggles empowers you to maintain your peace and enhances your emotional strength. 
Principle 5. Be strict with yourself, but tolerant of others. This principle emphasizes the importance of self-discipline while cultivating compassion for those around you. Being strict with yourself means setting high standards and holding yourself accountable for your actions and growth. This dedication to self-improvement drives personal development and strengthens your character. On the other hand, tolerance toward others encourages understanding and patience. Everyone has their struggles and imperfections. Recognizing that we all are on different paths fosters a supportive environment where you can thrive without being hindered by the mistakes of others. By balancing strictness with tolerance, you create a harmonious dynamic that allows for growth and forgiveness. You can strive for excellence in your own life while offering grace and understanding to those around you. Being strict with yourself and tolerant of others promotes a healthy balance between personal ambition and compassion, enriching both your life and the lives of those you interact with. Principle 6. Make peace with pain. Making peace with pain involves acknowledging it as an inevitable part of life rather than something to be feared or avoided. Pain, whether physical or emotional, serves as a teacher, guiding you toward deeper self-awareness and growth. Instead of resisting or resenting pain, embrace it and explore its lessons. When you accept pain, you can process it more effectively and find the strength to move through it. This acceptance allows you to experience emotions fully without becoming overwhelmed. By recognizing that pain is temporary and often leads to personal growth, you develop resilience and a greater capacity for empathy. Practicing mindfulness can help you stay present with your pain, creating a space for healing and understanding. Instead of letting pain define you, allow it to inform and shape your journey. Making peace with pain transforms your relationship with it, enabling you to cultivate resilience and a deeper understanding of yourself and others. Principle 7. Train yourself to be indifferent to drama. In a world filled with drama, be it in our personal lives, workplaces or social media, learning to be indifferent to it is an essential skill. Drama often manifests as conflicts, gossip and emotional upheaval, and it can easily distract us from our goals and inner peace. By training yourself to be indifferent to drama, you create a protective barrier that shields your mental and emotional well-being from unnecessary chaos. Indifference to drama doesn't mean apathy. Rather, it signifies a conscious choice to focus on what truly matters. When you cultivate indifference, you learn to step back and assess situations with a discerning eye. This approach enables you to differentiate between what deserves your attention and what is merely noise. You begin to realize that not every issue or conflict requires your involvement or emotional investment. One effective way to train yourself to be indifferent to drama is through mindfulness and self-awareness. By practicing mindfulness, you can observe your thoughts and emotions without immediately reacting to them. When you encounter drama, whether in conversations or online, you can pause and reflect on how it affects you. Ask yourself, is this worth my time? How does this contribute to my goals or well-being? This process allows you to disengage from the emotional charge associated with drama, giving you greater control over your reactions. Another strategy is to cultivate a strong sense of self. When you are confident in your identity and purpose, external drama has less power over you. Building self-esteem through positive affirmations, setting boundaries and surrounding yourself with supportive individuals can enhance your resilience against drama. When you know who you are and what you stand for, the opinions and conflicts of others lose their significance. Practice the art of detachment. Detachment is about not allowing external events to dictate your emotional state. This does not mean being cold or unfeeling. Rather, 
It involves acknowledging your emotions without letting them overwhelm you. For example, if a colleague engages in gossip, you can choose to remain neutral instead of taking sides or getting pulled into the drama. This level of detachment empowers you to maintain your composure and focus on your priorities. In addition to these strategies, surrounding yourself with positivity can significantly help. Engage with people who uplift and inspire you and seek out environments that foster positivity and growth. The less drama you invite into your life, the easier it becomes to remain indifferent to the drama that does occur. Training yourself to be indifferent to drama is a powerful tool for cultivating inner peace and resilience. Embracing indifference to drama not only enhances your emotional well-being, but also allows you to invest your energy in pursuits that align with your purpose and values. As you master this principle, you'll find that you can face challenges with a calm demeanor, undisturbed by the distractions of the outside world. Principle 8. No one can hurt you. Understanding that no one can hurt you is a profound realization that can transform your emotional landscape. In life, we often encounter situations where others' words or actions seem to inflict pain, whether it's through criticism, betrayal, or rejection. However, this principle emphasizes that your emotional responses are within your control, empowering you to reclaim your peace and happiness. At the core of this principle is the acknowledgement that pain is often self-inflicted. When someone says something hurtful, the impact it has on you largely depends on your perception and reaction. Their words may strike a chord, but how you respond determines whether they resonate negatively in your heart and mind. By recognizing this, you shift the focus from external factors to your internal processes. To embrace this principle, start by cultivating self-awareness. Reflect on your emotional triggers. What specific comments or actions from others tend to hurt you? By identifying these triggers, you can begin to understand that they often stem from your insecurities or unresolved issues. For instance, if you feel hurt by criticism, ask yourself, why does this affect me so deeply? What part of me feels vulnerable? This introspection can lead to greater self-understanding and emotional resilience. Moreover, practice the art of detachment. Detachment doesn't mean you stop caring. It means you learn to separate your self-worth from others' opinions. When someone criticizes you, take a step back and assess their words objectively. Are they rooted in truth? Or are they merely a reflection of their own struggles? By adopting this detached perspective, you can prevent their negativity from affecting your emotional state. Another essential aspect of this principle is to build a strong sense of self-worth. When you value yourself and recognize your intrinsic worth, you become less susceptible to external validation. Engage in positive self-talk, surround yourself with supportive individuals, and celebrate your achievements. The more you cultivate a positive self-image, the less power others' words will have over you. It can be helpful to reframe negative experiences as opportunities for growth. When faced with hurtful comments or actions, consider how they can teach you something valuable. For example, a harsh critique may highlight areas for improvement, prompting you to develop your skills further. This perspective shift allows you to view adversity as a catalyst for personal development rather than a source of pain. Remember that everyone is fighting their own battles. When someone lashes out or says something hurtful, it often reflects their struggles rather than your worth. Understanding this can help you cultivate empathy, allowing you to respond with compassion instead of taking their words to heart. This shift in perspective not only protects your emotional well-being, but also fosters a sense of connection and understanding with others. The principle that no one can hurt you is a powerful reminder of the autonomy you have over your emotional responses. 
by cultivating self-awareness, practicing detachment, and fostering self-worth, you empower yourself to navigate life's challenges with grace. Embracing this principle frees you from the shackles of others' opinions, allowing you to cultivate a life of inner peace and resilience. As you master this mindset, you'll find that you can face adversity with strength, remaining unshaken by the words and actions of those around you. Principle 9. Living According to Nature Living according to nature is a profound principle rooted in the understanding that we are an integral part of the natural world. In Buddhism, nature serves as a constant reminder of balance, impermanence and interconnectedness. By aligning ourselves with the rhythms and cycles of nature, we can cultivate a sense of harmony and peace within ourselves, allowing us to navigate life's challenges with greater ease and resilience. At its core, living according to nature means recognizing that everything is interconnected. Just as the trees, rivers and animals form an intricate web of life, so do our actions, thoughts and emotions. This interconnectedness teaches us that our choices impact not only ourselves, but also the world around us. When we live in harmony with nature, we begin to see ourselves as part of this larger whole, fostering a sense of responsibility and mindfulness in our actions. One of the key lessons from nature is the concept of impermanence. Nature is in a constant state of flux. The seasons change, rivers flow, and life evolves. By embracing this natural rhythm, we learn to accept change as a fundamental aspect of existence. This acceptance can significantly reduce anxiety and fear related to the unpredictability of life. Instead of resisting change, we can cultivate adaptability and resilience, understanding that like the seasons, our circumstances will inevitably shift. Living according to nature also encourages us to slow down and be present. In our fast-paced, technology-driven world, it's easy to become disconnected from the natural environment by taking the time to immerse ourselves in nature, whether it's a walk in the park, hiking in the mountains, or simply observing the clouds, we can reconnect with our inner selves. Nature has a unique way of grounding us, allowing us to let go of distractions and center our thoughts. This mindfulness fosters a deeper appreciation for life and encourages us to live in the moment. Nature teaches us about balance. Just as ecosystems thrive on balance, our lives require equilibrium as well. This means finding a balance between work and rest, ambition and contentment, solitude and connection. By observing the natural world, we can learn to prioritize what truly matters, ensuring that we allocate our time and energy wisely. Recognizing the importance of balance helps us avoid burnout and enhances our overall well-being. Incorporating nature into our daily lives can also serve as a form of self-care. Spending time outdoors, engaging in activities like gardening, hiking, or simply enjoying a sunset can be incredibly restorative. These moments of connection not only nurture our physical health, but also rejuvenate our mental and emotional states. Nature has a calming effect, reducing stress and promoting a sense of tranquility. By making nature a regular part of our lives, we can create a sanctuary that supports our well-being. Living according to nature involves a commitment to sustainability and environmental stewardship. As we recognize our interconnectedness with the natural world, we also acknowledge our responsibility to protect it. This might involve making conscious choices in our daily lives, such as reducing waste, conserving resources, or supporting sustainable practices. By aligning our actions with the values of respect and care for the environment, we contribute to the well-being of the planet and future generations. The principle of living according to nature is a profound invitation to align ourselves with the world around us. By embracing interconnectedness, accepting impermanence, 
fostering balance, and committing to sustainability, we can cultivate a sense of harmony and purpose in our lives. This principle encourages us to slow down, be present, and appreciate the beauty of the natural world, ultimately leading to a more fulfilling and meaningful existence. As we learn to live in harmony with nature, we find that it becomes a source of strength, guidance, and inspiration, helping us navigate the complexities of life with grace and resilience. Principle 10. Practice Gratitude. Practicing gratitude is a transformative principle that can profoundly enhance your emotional and mental well-being. In a world often focused on what we lack, gratitude shifts our perspective to recognize and appreciate what we have. This practice not only fosters a positive mindset, but also cultivates resilience, helping us navigate the ups and downs of life with grace and strength. At its core, gratitude involves acknowledging and valuing the goodness in our lives. It encourages us to take a moment to reflect on the people, experiences and blessings that enrich our existence. Gratitude can take many forms, whether it's expressing appreciation for a friend's support, enjoying a beautiful sunset or savoring a delicious meal. By consciously recognizing these moments of goodness, we cultivate a habit that promotes positivity and well-being. One of the most significant benefits of practicing gratitude is its impact on mental health. Numerous studies have shown that individuals who regularly engage in gratitude practices experience lower levels of stress, anxiety and depression. When we focus on what we are thankful for, we redirect our attention away from negative thoughts and emotions. This shift in focus can lead to a more optimistic outlook on life, enhancing our overall happiness and satisfaction. Gratitude also strengthens our relationships. When we express appreciation for others, we foster deeper connections and create a positive feedback loop of kindness and support. A simple thank you can go a long way in acknowledging someone's efforts and showing that we value them. Over time, this practice builds a sense of community and belonging, enhancing our social bonds and making us feel more connected to those around us. To incorporate gratitude into your daily life, consider starting a gratitude journal. This practice involves writing down a few things you are grateful for each day. It doesn't have to be elaborate. Even simple acknowledgements, like a warm cup of coffee or a friendly smile from a stranger, can have a profound effect. Over time, you'll notice patterns of positivity emerging, making it easier to find joy in everyday moments. Another powerful way to practice gratitude is through mindfulness. Mindfulness encourages us to be present in the moment, allowing us to fully appreciate our experiences. When we practice mindfulness, we become more attuned to the beauty and blessings around us, whether it's the laughter of a loved one, the warmth of sunlight on our skin, or the comfort of our home. Mindfulness helps us cultivate an awareness of life's simple pleasures, reinforcing our sense of gratitude. In addition to personal practices, expressing gratitude to others can strengthen our connections. Take time to tell the people in your life why you appreciate them, write letters, send messages, or simply share your feelings in person. This not only uplifts those around you, but also deepens your bonds, creating a cycle of gratitude that enriches both your life and theirs. Practicing gratitude in challenging times can be particularly powerful. When faced with adversity, it can be easy to focus solely on the negatives. However, finding moments of gratitude, even in difficult situations, helps to reframe our perspective. For example, during a tough day, you might find gratitude for the lessons learned or the strength you discover within yourself. This practice fosters resilience, reminding us that even in hardship, there are glimmers of hope and positivity. Practicing gratitude is a powerful principle that can transform your life.
By consciously acknowledging the goodness in our lives, we enhance our mental health, strengthen our relationships, and cultivate a more positive outlook. Incorporating gratitude into our daily routines, whether through journaling, mindfulness, or expressing appreciation to others, can create a ripple effect of positivity in our lives and communities. As we embrace this principle, we learn to navigate life's challenges with grace, recognizing that even in the face of adversity, there is always something to be thankful for. Remember, these 10 principles are tools for your journey toward emotional freedom. Incorporate them into your life and you'll find that nothing can truly affect you. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Let us know in the comments how you implement these principles in your daily life. Until next time, stay empowered.